Aloha YouTube. This is your boy Crypto Roots. And oh, this is my first time on this beach. I've never been here. I'm just filming it as I'm walking. I just feel such good vibes from the places around me. So it's really not even about me. I'm just, this is about you. What up, what up, what up, what up, YouTube? This is your boy, Crypto Motherfucking Roots. I let the, I let the crypto shmoney talk for me, homie. I let the crypto shmoney talk for me. You know what I'm saying, boy? We taking a good, a good trip, physically and mentally and spiritually. You know what I'm saying? About to smoke some ganja on La Beautiful Playa. Holla at your boy Crypto Roots for the mentorship, bruh. So there's a plethora of things to talk about, but I want to first start off by saying Crypto Roots has his own index token now, okay? It's yeah. called the Elon Marley Index. Uh -huh. The ticker symbol is called WEED. I'm going to leave a link in the description. It's my own set. It's my personal top 10 DeFi protocols all in one index token, all right? So, and I'm, I'm going to break down the methodology, but it's live. Uh, I'm setting up the LP pool soon. I'm still working with the devs. Uh, so you guys will be able to buy it with your ETH soon. Right now, you can only mint it with the underlying assets. So you'll be actually, you can purchase Elon Marley Index. You can purchase weed from the Elon Marley Index and actually own the underlying assets. So I got I got Badger Dow, I got Wi-Fi, I got Ave, I got a, my top 10 protocols that give you a broad expo exposure to everything DeFi, in my opinion. Yeah. So... Um, yeah, check that out. I'm definitely going to be pushing That's that. That's dope. Way. That's dope. People are definitely sleeping on them indexes, man. Yeah, and now you can create your own. So, you know, I, I'll show you outside how to do it on outside the show. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, um, I know for a lot of people, everyone's kind of, you know, that hype, that hype feeling, that euphoria is picking up and everybody's like, Roots, what should I buy? Jay, what should I buy? Yeah. What's good? Bro, I can sit here and talk to you all day about what's yeah. good in DeFi, yeah. you know? And if I so, can just tell you to buy one token that I'm already having. I don't even know how to answer that question. So the index tokens, I'm I'm going hard on index tokens. Right. Man. And it says my internet's unstable. So we'll see how this goes. So let's get into it. Yeah. What do you want to bring up? Yeah, you're still coming through cool right now. What do you want to bring up? What do you want? Uh to let's bring up the obvious. Yeah. Let's talk about the whole traditional finance shit. You know, yeah. I was finna bring it up. You know, I was finna bring it up. Well, I'm not, thoughts? Yeah, I have I have no what? I have no duck in that pond. What is, what is the term? I have no dog in that fight, right? <laughs> what? No? no? No, I don't. Uh, Bro, I don't what's think... going on in traditional finance to me? Well, no. no what? Hold on. I, wait. Uh, oh, go, ahead, uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. So per me personally, like, I don't have Robin Hood. I'm not investing in stocks. That shit was like four or five years ago for me. And yeah, me I've been following what's going on. Like I've been following it, but I, to me, it is the biggest promotion to decentralized finance we could have ever had. That's what I was going to say. That's what I was going to say. I'm like, I know you had to hear, I know, you know, because yeah, this happening, this happening and in, in what right now is basically just the biggest marketing advertisement commercial for decentralized finance that, Exactly. than we could ever ask for yeah so i'm sitting on the sidelines just watching it all go down like watching the house burn right? exactly right and i i mean i can't say hey i'm but it's just like i already knew this not this was going to happen but this has been happening and if the people ever try to fight back then they get spanked in the ass and called terrorists or criminals or something it's just like this is why i defy this is exactly right. why i defy like so that's, that. for me, that's like, it's just exciting to watch, to see that, like, you know, people in DeFi already, if you're in DeFi and you really believe in DeFi, meaning like, you're not just trying to get rich quick, then you already know what's up. You already know what's up. You already know these people's, you already know uh, Robin Hood scandalous. Like, I seen some hella funny people were like, you need to get off Robin Hood and go to Coinbase. Man, Coinbase is going to do the same shit. Yeah. It's, I, you know I, what I mean? I, so I, it's like. It's like out the pot into the frying pan, right? <laughs> It's like you think, and, and wow. the same thing. Out of the frying pan into the fire. Yeah, so it's yeah. like. And, and 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 let's bring that up uh, as far as Doge pumping, because that's one of the biggest catalysts to Doge pumping so hard, right? 
Well, well Doge Pump, and I think it was I like how Doge Pump because I, that was like a big fuck you to the to the uh, to the institutions and to the hedge funds because they in were just like ways, we're gonna pump this meme coin with y'all's money. And <laughs> in, in some ways, yeah, I'm down. Like, believe me, I've been a big proponent of Doge Coin, but unfortunately, I sold most of my Doge Coin. But in all reality, Dogecoin moving that bread to Dogecoin doesn't solve anything. It doesn't solve the issue of decentralized. Finance. No, it doesn't. Whether you're moving into Bitcoin or Dogecoin, you're still it's not. You're you're a little safer, but you're not you're not out like you know like you're not you're not in the. You got to move to ETH, right? You got to move to Ren BTC. You got to move to Ren Doge, right? Like that's the way I see it. I'm not. I, I'm better off yeah. lending out my Doge. I'm better off using my Doge as collateral. Same thing with my Bitcoin. If it's not on DeFi, it just it just doesn't. You're not you you haven't solved the problem yet, in my opinion. In my opinion. I mean, if we really want to go that route, DeFi hasn't even solved the problem yet. But that's a whole different story. I'm just sitting here watching the history go down and watching this shit happen right before our yeah, eyes, and I'm it's like, history you know, it's, it's history in the making. It's cool because even DeFi still got its issues. We don't know what the solution is yet. But we have a solution being worked on. You know well, the biggest solution is yeah. Uniswap, right? An exchange you can't shut down. An exchange that anybody that that I mean that, that's where I see the money going is to is is to Uniswap. Once people actually really get what's going on, then but that's only going to slow the network down that much more and make gas much much. Yeah, I'm going to say what's to say what's to say that somebody's not going to come along and just create another Uniswap competitor that has tokenized securities Sushi. on there and you know what i mean Sushi. even outside of that what a fucking uh you know brad and teller's brokerage comes out with their own decentralized thing and starts doing like we're still early we don't know what the hell is gonna happen we still early oh. um i'm pretty answer. confident about the technology we do have in d5 i'm pretty i'm pretty oh yeah pretty for sure that but i'm just uh, saying right. like to be that confident and to think that no technology can outbeat that technology uh, might be a mistake because there's people right now who see Ethereum and believe it or not, they're working day and night to try to fix some issues with well, yeah. every protocol. So it's like, yeah. we still in the run is where people are still racing. Just Ethereum has a huge head start. Yeah, you know, Uniswap's going to, ver it's already on version two and it's about to go to version three. So you're seeing protocols update themselves in real time. Right, that's the beautiful yeah, part exactly. of finance, right? That's what I'm saying, yeah. Yeah, so the, you, you're gonna have a solid group of people are like, as soon as we see something going wrong, we're already gonna be working on version two, version three. So anybody else trying to catch up, it's the same thing with like Toyota, Nissan, it's the same thing with these, what, uh, carbon powered motor cars, trying to get in the electric vehicle game. They had the opportunity, but they clown tested. They clown. That shit will never work. That shit will never. Now everything's moving to electric vehicles, and they'll literally have to upgrade their whole infrastructure. Yeah, you broke up. You broke up physically, and they just can't keep up. So same thing with DeFi. If you're not already in DeFi, by the time you get into DeFi, I don't matter whether you're a corporation or a hedge fund or whatever, you're always gonna. Be, you won't be able to keep up. You know, because these people have been working on it and solving their own problems for so long. So you're either going to have to, yeah. you know, yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, I'm not saying like nothing can be, but we're already seeing the, the people fix the building as the building's breaking, right? Like with some of these protocols. So yeah. it's Aave. Aave is one of the best examples. Aave V2. Aave, I mean, if Aave isn't the biggest DeFi platform next to Uniswap, man, I don't, I'm just saying like, I'm pretty confident in some of these protocols. Not that, you know, everybody should be, but. That's what I'm saying. Like Aave, like to me, Aave barely became uh on everybody's radar when literally when it was switching from land, I was over here like, yo, Ave is a big part of DeFi. And you got, there's there's a ton of big moving parts in DeFi. But for me, I'm just realistic and say some of those, anything that comes along better could, could move some of those things out the way and say, yo, you know, right now it's like ETH, Uni, and say Maker, you know, well, I don't know which ones are the top market caps right now, but like say ETH, Uni, or Maker. Anybody can come out and beat them out. That's what competition is. And I hope that it happens. I want to see the competition step that bar up and keep, you know what I mean? Keep the competition high so that we keep getting better and better protocols and we keep getting better and better partnerships and people working together and stuff like that. Yeah, absolutely. Competition is what keeps actually what keeps the market healthy, right? And that's what and there's some healthy competition going on because like everybody who's doing something, you see there's another protocol who's saying, hey, 
we see what you're doing over there, but we think y'all did this part wrong. So we're going to do this part different and, you know, and put their own spin on it, which and, is. And not just that, if shit, if shit really doesn't work out or shit, like, yo, just merge with us. Like we right. got, some shit you don't got, and you right. got, some shit you don't got. I just, well, that's I what I like to see too. I like to see, Hey, look, you're solving that problem. We have this problem that you solved. We might as well put it together and create this, this mega platform of, you know, yeah, that's I why mean, you got to give it up to projects. That's why you got to give it up to projects like Link and Ocean Protocol because they go out there and they're they're like, yo, we want to solve a problem. We'll partner with all y'all. We want all y'all's technicians to let us know what you guys need so we can make this better and easier and more accessible and cheaper and, you know, everything and, that it should be. And that's why I'm just so bullish on DeFi. Like, oh. there's just no, really, there's just no comparison. Like, there's just no comparison. So with the yeah. Robin Hood, <laughs> with the Robin Hood shit, like, right. I'm so far, like, in my safety zone, watching with my binoculars, just watching the whole show. Like, you know, I'm over here with making all you farming and LP pools and got my private keys. And I'm watching people complain that their Robin Hood account shut down over some traditional stock. I'm not dissing it. I get it. Like.